أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولى الأمر منكم and always a reminder to myself and abdu kalaji sa da'ifu miskinu zalim jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are in existence Allahu hayy ala hayyu ya qayyum Allahu wal hayy ala hayyu ya qayyum Allahu wal hayy ala hayyu ya qayyum Allahu ala 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 hayy ala hayyu ya qayyum Ya Madhaf wa Yusayya Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Khabib Al-Azim Alhamdulillah that on this journey of immense blessings and rahmah that in this parda and the veil of naim and the oceans of submission, Alhamdulillah Allah give to us Surat Al-Qadr for the description of Laylatul Qadr and its rem- immense realities of power. That the reality of power and emanation of what we've talked from the last few nights and going into the huruf, there's what the world of form understands. And then as it rises to the world of light, the world of form no longer makes sense for the world of light. The world is form is based on a time where the light is timeless. So the difference in its understandings or the depth and the reality of its understandings is when the huruf begins to describe the malakut and the journey into these oceans of reality. And alhamdulillah towards the last nights we are moving towards Tanzil Malaikati wa Ruh fiya bi idni Rabbihi wa kunul am salamun hiya hatta madla al fajr. Tanzil Malaikati wa Ruh, we described in, in other talks, this is opening of the understanding of this Qadr because this is not based on only. Laylatul Qadr for one night during Ramadan. But this is a dress in which Allah wanted at least all of the nation to receive from these blessings. But Qadr is flowing at every moment. This secret of Qadr which is the secret of this power that emanates throughout the universes. For us to understand because our technology is becoming more and more advanced, this is Allah's oceans of Wi-Fi, a wireless power. That this emanation is a word from Malakut because Allah giving a direction for this power. That it's, Tanazal is coming. And it's a direction from the world of Malakut that this power coming upon Malaika wa Ruh. And that this Wi-Fi and this signal or this wireless power for the mind to understand and perceive because everything is moving, everything is connected to a power but no one sees the electrical cord, how the planets are moving. How every atom is moving, how and from the largest to the infinitely small, how is it moving, how is it energized, how is it powered and who's sending the signal? For the leaf on 10,000 galaxies and universes, who sends the signal for that leaf or that dust or that rock to move? to orbit, to think from its most minute reality of its atomic reality, who's giving the command of its electrons and its orbits and everything moving? Look at the vastness and the immensity of creation and who's giving the signal for its movement, for its growth, for anything that's happening. Everything is under the command of Allah and then Allah turns on malaikati wa ruh 
فِي بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِ مِكُنُنْ أَمْ That ayatul kareem is then the opening of that understanding in this ocean of power that every emanation is coming to the malaika wa ruh. Means the ones whom take that Muhammadan haqqaiq of the most purified reality and the ruh is the authorized representation of Sayyidina Muhammad in the most purified oceans of reality, Allah describing that that command coming upon that reality. That this command is, is tanzila is moving upon them and then فِهِ بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ كُلِّ الْعَمْرِ By the permission of Allah by the permission of Allah these commands and this power is coming. When it comes to the angels and to the ruh means that every command is coming by permission of Allah So for us to even understand and I don't know if words will even convey it, this is like being at the central power box. And the description on this box of emanation is Allah is describing that every command is coming here and it flows to the angels and to the ruh, the purified souls of the Muhammadan haqqaiq. Wa Allah, atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. These are the realities of these ulul am that everything came from Allah bi idn rabbihim. Bi idni rabbihim comes from the permission of Allah from Allah. By the time the command comes to Sayyidina Muhammad he becomes bi idni rabbihim because he's our Lord. Because the change is, is in tawheed. So Prophet receives the command from his Lord and those who are are ulul am and below they receive the command from their Lord Sayyidina Muhammad creators Allah Lordship is the establishment of authority and the oceans of power. Bi'idni rabbihim kullun amr, kul. So contractual lawyers and people who live by words they understand that when Allah puts this in this contract in this understanding why Allah For narrow-headed minds to understand, I put the clause in this contract for you to understand. Kul, kul, every amr. So not somebody can come back and say, no Prophet doesn't have understanding of this stuff Allah or he doesn't have direction of this. Or awliya don't have command of this, Allah because Qur'an are contracts, smart contracts from heaven that are locked and nobody can take break that contract and nobody can say no that Allah not giving that. Allah with Holy Qur'an for us to understand with all their new technologies, these are the blockchain the original blockchain is the Qur'an in which it's not in one location, it's memorized into the hearts of maybe a billion followers. As a result these words of Allah are locked and they're contractual. As a result when Allah is saying that the tanzila that this emanation of authority and power is flowing wa kulun amr and that they they have the word in English, every command descends therein by permission of their Lord in every matter, in every matter. Because Surat Al-Qadr we're at the central authority, we're in the power ocean, in the power station. Allah then giving us the contractual understanding that kulun amr, every command is moving into this ayatul kareem. So then we understand the immensity, wa kulun amr, that even the amr 
is Aleph, Mim, Ra. So it means that as soon as it comes to the angels and the Ru, all the Ulul Amri Minkum, that all the Ulul Am are receiving their emanations and their commands. Fambudal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyad, Malaika, Wa Jinn. Means these people and categories of Ulul Amr, they're receiving the commands of Allah And we said just for us to understand because it's far greater than our galaxy that there's a command station on the sun. And the command of Allah the giving and the sun is for us our understanding because Allah knows that we weak, I'll show you the horizon, I'll show you the reality upon the horizon and I'll show you within yourself. But mankind is weak in understanding their own potential. So then the analogy that is given is the sun is a symbol of Allah's eternity. Who turned that on and who's going to turn it off? There are scientists saying, oh it will go off in 200 billion years, what they're talking about. They're not even here for 70 years more or less what they know of when Allah's going to turn something on and when He turned it off. They barely understand when they came on and when they're going off. But for us it's a symbol of eternity. And Allah said, look to that sun, when I turn that on with this eternal power and that you know that every photon we talked I think last year on Surat Al-Qadr and the tafsir of Surat Al-Qadr that at this ayat al kareem this is the immensity of a power ocean like a Wi-Fi wireless charge. That Allah every command is moving on to those photons. So they saw photon move through everything. It comes throughout the universe, hits the earth for example, goes through everything. Everything that one photon touches, it gave it a command. It touched the atmosphere, it touched the tree, it went into an ocean, it went back down touch a human. Wherever that photon is traveling, it's filled with commands, giving the command for the Ulul Am whom their souls are, are taking these orders on what they should be doing, how they should be inspired what direction they should be moving to every vegetation and every growth where it will get its sustenance, where it will grow, where it will die, what leaf will fall. Everything is under Allah command. And that's SubhanAllah and that's what Allahu Akbar, beyond comprehension, beyond comprehension and that, that Allah is saying in this power ocean this is moving. Kulul and by permission of Allah that everything is moving with that authority, nothing is outside of the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad Nothing is under the… Uh, outside of that authority. And Allah giving us that if the malaika were ru, that they're receiving every command then what about the one whom is owner of that reality, Sahib al-Qudra, the one whom his heart is the owner of this location because this is inside the Muhammadan heart. This is inside where the Qur'an is emanating inside like, a, like the essence of that power Allah is not giving us the understanding of Qadr. That every time you efface yourself to nothing, I give you power. This power is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That heart in which emanates the speech of Allah is taking the souls into that understanding that this is the ocean of power and this is the reality of that power. That every command is flowing from that power for the malaika wa ruh. And then they give to the Ulul Am and this begins now the Wi-Fi, the great Wi-Fi for entire created universes that everything is on Allah's network. And that's when Allah described that nothing escapes Allah it's on His network. No matter how free a creation may think it is or how invincible or how undestructible it is, 
Allah says, they're foolish because they don't understand that they're on my network. At any time I pull them from existence, they cease to exist, they cannot breathe, eat, drink, nothing. Everything is on under Allah's might and majesty and oceans of power. As a result of that ocean of power and these souls that are moving with this love and ash because everybody wanted Laylatul Qadr. And the wanting of Laylatul Qadr is the, the zeal of faith. It's the yearning, Ya Rabbi, I want from all these beatific realities that you have described and people have described and shaykhs have described. We want from that light and that love and Allah by teaching us these realities, teaching the you're deep in that reality, you're deep in these oceans of reality. If you're he hearing these teachings and hearing these realities, Allah giving a permission to be dressed by these realities. That these are the, the depth of oceans and the central command for that reality. And then Allah described Ayatul Kareem, Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. Salamun hiya. That from the depth of your annihilation, that Allah grant to you a faraj, a salvation. Fajr. Fajr is when from the ocean of non-existence that you come back into existence. That's why our fajr is, is the analogy of the darkness of night like a child being born through the womb. That you pray in the darkness and the depth of night. Why this fajr is, is important is because from the depth of the darkness of the night Ya Rabbi Dress me and bless me to have a prosperous day, a day in, in your worshipness, a day of my existence that you gave me to not waste my existence. So it's coming from the night into the day. And Allah dressing the servant, Salamun hiya hatta, that we're granting you a salam from this ocean of power all the way to your fajr. Means that all the way from the oceans of your annihilation all the way into your existence and your manifestation. Because we were in the ocean of annihilation to begin, Laylatul Qadr. So this is all the journey in an ocean of power that is in an instant. That as soon as you annihilate, I put you Layl, I put you Qadr. In this ocean of power was this whole understanding till now that in your annihilation as I'm dressing you with qadr, I'm going to grant you salams until you fajr, until you now come back into your manifestation. Pretty deep for somebody to understand that at every night, at every moment when they make tafakkur, <clears throat> There's a moment in which they no longer manifest. You're talking about a, a spiritual realm of a timeless reality. So many people may meditate and say, I feel asleep, I woke up it's hour and a half later. Well, where do you go? In this ocean in which you connect your heart. If your heart should be taken with that light and you make that connection with that light, that's a timeless reality. Where that light takes you, dresses you, how long it dressed you with and returned you back to your consciousness. The depth of it can't be understood nor can be described. But there are awliya whom they meditate they can leave. How long they've left? is not relevant to the physical body. Somebody may say, Shaykh it looked like you were out for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes but it could have been lifetimes in the world of light because light has a different understanding. There's no time when they make their connection and they enter into the presence of that light, the fires and the light and the emanation they're giving, Allah is, is granting salamun hiya. That we're granting you from these salams 
all the way until we send you back onto your form. This salam, <coughs> salamun is to reach to the sirr and the secret of Sayyidina Muhammad, the secret of light and the light of every secret. The seen of salam, so the seen looks like a W, this seen, lam and the meem or the main, there's alif in there, there's izzah and a might in that. But the main is this salam, the seen, lam, meem that Allah want to dress the servant from Nur Anwar wa Sirat al Asrar that the custodian of every secret, which is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad through the immensity of that lisan and the tongue of truth, dressing the Muhammadan haqqaiq. Means that every time they connect, Prophet want to convey unto their soul salams, not greetings, hello. Allah saying, hello, hello, salam. But the essence of salam is, I want to dress you from this sirr, from this secret, that all of creation is searching for that secret. That same secret that known by Ya seen, by the perfection of that seen, Allah granting this salam that every time they enter into this ocean of power, their time is something that cannot be understood. And as a result they be dressed by ilmu yaqeen, aynu yaqeen wa haqqa yaqeen at every moment. So imagine and there are probably sci-fi movies that can better understood or anime movies, you live a life of physicality and all you do is physicality. How much are you missing from this world of realities where the one whom understood the world of realities understood for example for us to even understand, every time they learn to connect they enter now a timeless reality. That they connect with that light, they connect with their masters and they enter now into that reality. They're in an ocean of light and realities that has no longer a time. And Allah dresses the soul in that reality from salams. Only in that time can you receive the knowledge of certainty. This is why the W of seen is a secret. What are the secrets are the knowledge of certainty the visions of certainty and they develop the truth of certainty. Through what? Through their timeless connection. As soon as they're able to connect, they connect with the shaykhs, the shaykh pulls their soul into their presence. How long were they sitting in that association? Not understood. People may say, oh you were going five minutes. Prophet went for Isra'i wal Maraj and said his, his bed was still warm. But this was an understanding and an opening for us. Prophet gave this as a gift to his nation, don't be stuck on your physicality. If Allah want to raise you and take you, there's a, a world of realities that can't be understood. So what they call time travel, the bending of time the movement of time, the, the manipulation of time, all of this from the world of light. Sleepers of the cave was another dalil which is the whole of this reality. How did they go into a cave, commit themselves to Allah and 305 years transpire and they're still fresh? And what happened to them with their spirituality? What were they being dressed with? What were they seeing? What was Allah doing upon their souls, giving and dressing upon their souls? And what was the necessity of that dress? 
And who were these beings that were establishing? This is why Islam is deep in this reality, deep in this understanding that time is, is, is relevant only to our creation and our form. But our real power is in a timeless reality and how to establish that timeless reality and that Allah dress every time we annihilate in Layl, Allah grants Qadr. That's the binary, Layl negate and Allah gives the one. As soon as you become zero is your Layl, Ramadan is a Layl, Ramadan is a month in which to annihilate and make everyone zero. That's why it's so crushing on the nafs, crushing on the nafs. And as a result of you fasting and becoming nothing, Allah grants you from the One, grants you Qadr, grants you power, grants you all these dresses and all these lights and blessings. And Salamun are these oceans that Prophet want to grant that the huruf is the understanding that I'm going to grant you from this scene, I'm going to grant you from this ancient tongue that will speak to your heart, speak to your consciousness and the meme is the clarification of who will be talking to me, ancient aliens? No, Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything in our deen is related to this meme. So when Dajjal comes and says, no it was me who brought you on this earth. I am your Lord because he's coming as an alien and saying, I planted you on this earth long ago and I've been coming to check up on you. And Allah gave to us, no, 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 all along all your realities were based on meme. Everything is in relationship to the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah This is our key. And this is the safeguard of our reality. Anyone teaching whatever they claim to be a reality but doesn't have the meme, even old time the key was a, a circle and a line, it was a circle and a line, it was a meme. That everywhere we look Allah teaching for us, your key is Muhammadun Rasulullah. When you want to be a Muslim it's a meme, you want to be a Muhsin it's a meme. You want to be from Malaika it's a meme, means everything in that reality and that ocean of power to be dressed by that reality, to be protected by that reality and that Allah complete His favours upon our soul that on the 29th of Ramadan is an immense dress of light, Salamun Hiya Hatta Mata Al Fajr. That from these oceans of power and the reality of 92 and 29, the, the ocean of annihilation which is the reflection of Muhammadun Rasulullah that every time you annihilate and then annihilate within your annihilation means continuously to be nothing. The gift of that is the dress from Muhammadun Rasulullah that whatever Allah bestowing of these blessings Prophet to take and bestow all of his oceans of generosity upon the soul. We pray that Allah dress us from these realities, bless us from these realities and that to receive the payday of Ramadan in the last night of Ramadan, that to keep that night and its worshipness, its love and its connection so that Allah keep the favours upon the soul and that the servant receive them and dress them all the way to the time of Salatul Eid in which Allah begin to grant the servants their pay for 30 days of their worshipness. Allah grant His pay, His ni'mat, His blessings and His gifts upon their souls inshaAllah dressed upon themselves, their family and their communities. We pray that Allah dress us from these lights, bless us from these lights and to take away difficulty by means of this love and this 
light and the nearness and the love to Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzata Amma Yasifun Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Wa Basir Surat Al Fatiha